In case you didn't know, June is Men's Health Month. And it's a great opportunity for men and the men in our world to sort of check in and and see how you're doing. And, you know, when it comes to the likes of trauma, mental and emotional trauma, um, it's no respecter of persons. It can impact people from all walks of life. Matt Brown joins us on the show today. He's a father of three, a husband, a speaker, an author, a business owner, a barber, and a huge advocate for the promotion of mental well-being emotional literacy and the prevention of family violence. You might recognise his name along with his wife. They wrote a great book and it's a it's really an international movement now. She is not your rehab. Here today uh, to talk to us about his app called Inner Boy. Talofa Matt, welcome to the programme. Talofa, thank you for having me. An honour to be here. Hey, so your journey, from what I understand, part of your journey anyway, is that you were operating your own barber shop, and that sort of led into the work that you're doing now. Tell us a little bit about that, Matt. Yeah, I started cutting hair down here in Otutahi in Christchurch, um, in a place called Aranui. It was really just talking to men um, where I really uh, I felt. Uh, massive need to create a space where Tane could really open up because as men started to trust me with their outer appearance yep. they soon started to trust me with the um, stuff that was happening inside of them and it was here I learned that we were more alike than we are different um, and so many men you know strong confident businessmen to gangs um, all struggled with their mental health and I just thought if I could be of service and um, not just cutting their hair but to listen to them um, I will do that. And so it was just, it's been this beautiful journey, organic journey from a grassroots level of really connecting and learning and listening to me in over the last 15, 20 years, um, barbering. So, yeah, look, I've had the same hairdresser for the last 15 years and I sometimes feel like she's my therapist. <laughs> like you just, <laughs> you know, it's sort of that confidential space, isn't it? A cone of silence and what goes on in that shop and you're getting a haircut. It remains there really, doesn't it, Matt? Well, I always like to say us hairstylists are a cheap therapist, so. <laughs> yeah, and good ones too. <laughs> so um, that happened. You, you wrote your book, uh, She Is Not Your Rehab. I know you've, you, you know, you've traveled around the world talking, um, but you've since developed this app called Inner Boy. Tell us about that, Matt. Yes, Inner Boy, um, the concept of Inner Boy really was birthed during lockdown when we went into a six-week um, lockdown due to COVID, due to the pandemic. Um, I jumped on national television and did an interview with Dr. Anne's Jury, who is the Women's Refuge CEO. And I said on primetime television, 6 o'clock news, that if there was any brother out there struggling with his anger or violence, please reach out to me. I promise I'll respond. Yeah. Um, next minute, I had this massive influx of messages from Tane, from men all around the world, uh, all around New Zealand. Yeah. Um, and what really broke my heart was receiving messages, messages from kids, yeah. children saying, um, you know, Matt, I see a oh, one 12 year old boy messaged me and said, I seen your national television last night. You said that you help men who struggle with anger. Can you please help me help my dad who is um, abusing my little brother? Wow. And so I jumped online, tried to find this young kid help. There was nothing available. All the anger management courses cost money, were outdated. Um, I was up till three o'clock in the morning, video video calling, FaceTiming, emailing, messaging men from all around the country. And wifey just said, this is not sustainable. Yeah. And so Inner Boy was birthed, really. The, um, the concept of Inner Boy is to really, um, it's a subconscious version of us. Mm. You know, we can't see him, but he, they hold all the, our old experiences, specifically the traumatic ones. Yeah. And so it's Inner Boy is really teaching men. We wanted to create an app where men could learn how to regulate their emotions, reparent themselves, how to utilize anger for good instead of destructive purposes, um, a whole host of things. Yeah, because I think what happens with men and women is we grow up and we think the child's not there anymore, right? But you're saying inner boy, it could be an inner girl. We're still there. Whatever we've experienced, good and bad, um, it leaves an imprint on our hearts, Matt. Is that A hundred percent. And for a lot of the men that I've worked with, you know, um, you see the inner child come out sometimes. You know, when I think of a child who throws a tantrum or throws his toys out of the cot, I see, we see that often in society, men who, people if people don't get their way, they would throw attention or respond negatively or react. Um, so it's just teaching men how to regulate those emotions. You know, you're not your past or you're not stuck 
um, back there. We yep. are here in the present and just learning new ways um, and putting new language to um, what does creating safe spaces or, or working on our mental health really looks like. Yeah. You know? So can you tell us a little for the listeners, you know, that perhaps haven't read your book and, and aren't familiar uh, with your journey, a little bit of your background? So I, I grew up in, um, if you know, the New Zealand, the, the best way I could paint my childhood would be the infamous movie Once We Warriors. Yeah, yeah. Um, when that film came out, I was 10 years old. I sat on the fella on the, on the carpet with my siblings and we cracked up. We laughed through the entire film. Um, we thought it was a comedy because we would compare Beth Hickey's black eyes to my mum's black eyes. Uh, my mum would often go to church with a bruised face, wearing her big sunglasses to hide her black eyes. Um, but no one ever said or did anything. People knew the violence, people heard the violence, people witnessed the violence, but no one ever spoke up. And so, you know, you can only imagine what that does for a young boy growing up, trying to navigate what does a healthy masculine man look like um, when all you're surrounded by is violence. Um, my dad was a heavy alcohol drinker. Alcohol was the choice mm. of substance that he would regulate himself with. And so um, we were on the end um, end of the stick of that Um you know that rage and that so so many suppressed emotions that my father held on to. Yeah. Um. So this is this work working with me from the barbershop to writing a book to now this app has been my my pep my passion. Um. You know, just seeing fathers who have engaged in our work over the years, just really you see the light bulb turn on for them. Um. They they are aha moments mm. where they've just really changed. I've I've come across so many men who have changed that narrative. Um. I know I've heard you talk before. I think it was your TED talk I listened to, and you talked about um, you know forgiving your dad because you know you, for all of us, right? If we hold that stuff inside that just it hurts us, and then we can hurt those around us. But how did you actually do that, man? Yes. How, how did you forgive your father? Forgiveness for me, I mean, like me, I grew up in you know, like most of us Polynesian Pacifica um, Fano, we we grew up in church. Mm. Um, forgiveness was a word that was often thrown around, and for for me, I hated that word because it felt like I was condoning bad behaviour. Yeah, I had to forgive those who had perpetrated violence. Yet the people who perpetrated violence still got to walk around free, and were still perpetrating violence. So it just never made sense to me until my son was born. Until I was gifted this beautiful precious gift who came out of his mama and all he did was poo and cry. Um, <laughs> but it was love. It was love at first sight. You know, I held my son Angelo and I thought to myself, why on earth, how could anyone ever want to hurt something so precious and so innocent? Such a gift. And so it was then my son was my invitation to really forgive. And so now when I think of forgiveness, I think of letting go. Yeah. Um, it doesn't condone what happened to me. It doesn't condone those who perpetrated violence on me. Um, their behavior, but it releases me to be the father that I never had. And so if I had any chance, I thought to myself, if I had any chance of being the father and the husband that I'd never witnessed, I had to forgive, I had to let go. Because holding on to that anger and that pain would turn into resentment, bitterness, and that would just then trickle on down, transmit onto my most prized taonga gift, which is my children. For sure. Uh, so in a boy, it's is it about that, you know, Men are facing that, yes, these these hard things happened because, you know, if you don't face it, you can't get over it. And then is this sort of steps to help the healing begin, to become more self-aware? How, how does it sort of work? Yes. Yeah, self-awareness is, um, well, it's a 30, 30 minutes for 30 days. I take you on this journey. Um, I have you in your on your on your phone. So um, we're finally, it's, it's being researched and evaluated at the moment, moment. A lot of men are currently using it Great. when they're in the toilet. <laughs> so I just love that I'm, I'm sitting with men in the, in, the, in the privacy of their home, in the toilet, on their throne. Um, but it's true, you know, I often talk to wahine, to women who say, man, my husband always in the toilet. And so, look, if they're doing therapy in the toilet, awesome. Um, but I take you on this 30, 30 days for 30 minutes. Um, you can do it in your own time because, um, you know, we're often busy. Men can do it after work, in the toilet, in the car, wherever they are. Um, and we're just teaching men new tools, you know. We, we talk about forgiveness. We talk about reparenting yourself, mm. um, regulating your emotions, so many things. Um, just helping men on their mental health journey. And I think self-awareness is so crucial in being the best version of yourself, being that father that you want to be, being that husband that you want to be. Self-awareness is, is a massive, important tool. Yeah. So what you're saying is your past doesn't have to be your future? Yes, your childhood trauma wasn't your fault. 
but your healing is your responsibility because what we do not transform, we inevitably inevitably transmit. And so, um, yeah, our work has always been an invitation for us men to really step up. You know, she can't do more for you than you're not willing to do yourself, mm. you know. Beautiful. She can't do more for you than you can't, you're not willing to do yourself. And so I, I grew up in a generation where I witnessed my mum be a rehab centre for my father my entire childhood you know and she thought i would always ask my mum, you know mum, why are you still with him dad's gonna kill you one day um and my mum's response was always the same you know growing up in church she didn't believe in divorce she um said son i don't have any other options you know dad holds the finances and so there were so many things that were going on that you know mum just was the rehab center and her rescuing my father and never help my father be better you know yeah. my father going in prison he didn't learn how to be better no one was inside was helping him in fact he was surrounded by more hurt people and so when you're in that environment you come out and you learn how to hurt people even more you know hurt people hurt people for sure until we have the courage to heal um so yeah yeah hey matt so great to chat with you today and a boy the app we just downloaded it at the app stores is that where we get it no so it's, it's currently not in the app store because we're still developing it it's um you have to jump onto your web browser whether you use safari firefox google chrome and just type in innerboy.nz and Inner so it's boy. free something up yep innerboy.nz matt brown thank you so much for your time today thank you so much Hey, thanks for joining us today. Make sure that you like, subscribe and turn on your notifications so you can catch all our interviews on Star. See you next time.